that's a coil on acrylic adhesive. I'm not so sure if this works, but if you don't try, you never know. This is option two. <clears throat> I was never great in doing uh, like presents, wrapping presents. But uh, yeah, hope this works. There are some defects or dirt actually that was on this uh, transparency. The thing is with these transparencies is that they are rather static. So all the stuff nearby gets on it. Before I wrapped it into my laminate. I have no clue if the printer will take this. So we'll see. This side looks rather dull and ugly but I um, scuffed it and cleaned it with alcohol. But you can see the hairs in there as well that are stuck to the transparency so I'm not too sure if this works. But I am gonna try it right now because uh, the edge bath is still warm and I don't want to waste so much hot water just for one try. So I'm gonna try to print on this. This is 25 aluminum of 25 micron aluminum foil on 12 micron polyester. And why this? Well, this is because the printer can only print this. And I actually need more material to later on be able to tension it. I need some extra material. So I hope this works and if this works I might be able to make this even longer. I waste a lot of material but at least I can tension the foil. So let's dump it in the printer and see what happens. It's as ready to print but that's good. Let's see if we can get it a little bit closer no can we move the fucking printer a little bit hmm I have to manually feed the first part which I cannot show under the roller because this printer uh, has seen better days it's this this roller is fucked the, the paper pickup mechanism is kind of screwed so it has to do let's see if we can print Control P. No, no. And I might have to feed it by myself. There we go. Hmm. So far. Not even a paper gem. What the fuck? Come on. Jam you fuck. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Nasty. Reason for that is I should have <laughs> you can see a hair here and there and there. So next time if I try this, it might work, but I either need not a transparency because they're so static or uh, make sure they're really clean, but it's quite hard if it's static, you know, you get rid of the hairs and they flop on right there, right away. So I am gonna patch this thing here at least with a marker because I'm afraid it will not etch correctly. So yeah, it's not perfect, but it did take the folded thing actually. I even I didn't even have to have to have the had to feed it into the printer, which is the normal case with paper nowadays, because the mechanism is fucked. But because this is thicker, it's more easy for it to grab onto, apparently. So <laughs> that's a win. That's at least something. Let's see if I can patch this up a little bit. Yeah, it's not perfect at all. It's gonna be pinhole paradise. 
might need to clean the printer or the I don't know, it didn't cover all that well either, beside these folds because of dirt. It didn't have very good coverage to be honest. Yeah. Maybe I should not have it for. No. Might need to adjust the printer, you have like certain uh, settings for thicker paper. And I actually really don't know what that does, but... but on the other hand, this was the setting for transparencies that I usually use because uh, it will um, roll the whole print a little bit slower than normal, so it has good adhesion. So I don't want to... I think that works best. I don't have a lot of this material to try it a gazillion times. So that's kind of there's like the old here, yeah. I think this one is screwed. This is too much patchwork. It's not gonna work. No. Okay, so the folding over like a like a, a gift. That works, that's something. But the rest doesn't seem to be of good quality. Hairline cracks. And in this case, hairline is, is kind of the right the right word for it because some of it is because there are hairs there. I can show you. Also the coverage is quite shitty. It looks great from there probably but I can assure you it's not. You can see it's not completely black. It's like it didn't cover everywhere. And you can see all these hairs and such. Um, what shall I do? Shall I just dump it in the edge bath anyway? See what happens? I mean, yeah, what can happen? I only waste some edge end. Yeah, I'll just dump it in. Whatever. 